Hey guys, what's up? It's Rygar the Destroyer, and today we're going to be taking a look at Oddball from the Clone Wars line. Now, this guy is pretty cool, but before we take a closer look at him, let's go ahead and take a look at his packaging. So here it is, as you can see, if it'll focus, it's one of the earlier Clone Wars um, cards, so it's just got this generic clone trooper back here, and then whenever you flip it over onto the back, you can see it's got an image of the action figure itself, as well as an image of the character from the Clone Wars. Um, down here at the bottom, it's got all of the other figures that were released around the same time. And then finally, it does have a brief description of the character. And of course, if you'd like to read that, you can go ahead and just pause the video. Uh, so anyway, overall, pretty standard stuff. So let's go ahead and get back to the figure itself here. Now, Oddball stands at... Let's see, three and three quarter inches tall. So he's right in scale with all of your other three and three quarter inch action figures. And he does come with a couple accessories. The first one, of course, is his blaster. As you can see here, it's the same one that we get pretty much all throughout the Clone Wars. No paintwork or anything on there, uh, but it is nicely detailed, which is nice. And then up next, he's got this kind of like a rocket launcher. And this is like a kind of a gimmicky kid's toy. Um, so you can load in this little missile and then push the button on the top and it will actually fire the missile. Now, when the missile's out of it, um, you know, it does look nice and can still be posed with the figure. And I don't think it's so comically, you know, overdone uh, that it can't be, you know, used in a serious display. So I also pretty much like this accessory. And fortunately, it's one that we see throughout the Clone Wars line as well. Now, as far as the articulation on this figure goes, um, it's pretty standard for these early clone trooper figures. He's got a ball peg in the head, and as you can see, his little control box here is on some nice soft uh, tubes so they don't actually get in the way of the articulation. He's got ball hinge shoulders with an excellent range of motion, hinged elbows with a swivel, and then he's got hinged wrists with a swivel, and on this hand, the hinge runs horizontally this way, and on this side, it runs vertically through the hand, as you can see there. In his torso, he's got a swivel, as well as a hinge that lets it come uh, forward and back, which gives him a really excellent range of motion there. He's got swivel hips, um, pretty decent range of motion, definitely enough to get this guy into the cockpit of a vehicle, which is nice. Then he's got hinged knees with a swivel, and then finally, hinged ankles with a swivel. So overall, um, this is a really nicely done uh, clone figure on the kind of first pass through of the clone trooper body, which is personally my favorite version. So if you uh, find this one, and I imagine you should be able to for fairly cheap, I definitely recommend picking it up because it's a pretty cool figure and it's, it's really well done. So uh, if you have any comments or questions, hit me up on my social media. The link for that will be down in the description below. And I guess I'll see you later.